Hey, welcome back to another PHP 2 class uh, video. In this video, we're going to talk about the first milestone in our project. And so you know we're, ma we're making an uh, e-commerce website. And so let's see what we're supposed to do first of all. So our functionality for our first module is to create a login screen and a registration module. And so this involves designing the screen, probably with a wireframe, a drawing, and then we have to talk about the database and what kind of fields we're going to put in to our database to hold our user data. Let's first of all take a look back. This is from the first semester. So I created a website with you called the Recipe Lister and we have a login and we also have a password to go with it. So you remember this was a pretty basic HTML page but we had some database work in the background. So if I put in my username and my password, and I try to log in, I have an unsuccessful message. Let's go look and browse through our PHP MyAdmin tool. As you recall, I had a table called a Recipes List and Users Table. So the design of my Users Table, in this case, was a username and password and a role. So we're going to do something similar. Let's take a look and see what my password actually was. So I was shad and password2. I'm going to try that again. So let's go back and attempt the word password2. And this time I am logged in. Okay, so now I'm into my app. I can see my navigation bar and a welcome screen. So that's the functionality we're trying to get here. The other part of this functionality is the registration. So let's click here to register and create a username and password. And away we go but not so fast. Let's come back and look at our project design document that we talked about a little while ago. In our design, we can have more than one option than what we just did in the past. So let's look at this option here. It says we could put a login page plus a registration page on the same site. And they have uh, the same page but different forms. So let's take, take a look down and see what kind of a wireframe that's talking about. So. Down here is an example of what you might be able to do if you had a single page but you had um, different functions on it. So, so you can see here on the left side that we have a returning user. This is the login. And then if you're not logged in or if you don't have an account, you can do a registration. So form one in one side, form two on the other side, and they both have different handlers. So that's another way you could design it. So whichever way you decide to go with your design and your login, you need to uh, draw it up using a wireframe tool or a paper and pencil. Now the second big question is our database. So let's talk about our database design. Let's look back into the database that we did last semester. So we had a users table. It was very simple. We had just the username, password, and then we tacked on the idea of role and the role was supposed to have the word admin or just uh, nothing. So that was, that was a very basic way to do it. Let me show you some other ways. I'm going to open up MySQL Workbench. This would be version one of our app. We could do a table with users so we could have all their user data and address. But think about our web commerce website. We might want to have more than one address. So let's switch over for a minute here to a graphic that I found on Google Image Search. So if you have an Amazon account, for example, you can see here that we have more than one address. So a Visa card has more than one Visa card and there's more than one shipping address. So you might want your database to handle multiple uh, addresses for the user. So let's take a look at another uh, recent uh, design that I created. And so this one here looks like it has a, a users table, but you can see that I've created a second table called addresses. And so the address can have, or each user can be associated with multiple addresses. And so I created the uh, address uh, has an ID, has a, needs to have more data. It needs to have like the street, and city, and state, and all that. So let's look inside the uh, details here on addresses. So we would probably want to include the streets and the city, the state, and the postal code, and that would give us a more complete address. But the key idea here is that we have a default uh, check mark. So it's a 
it's either a true false value. So that way you know which, uh, which current address they're using. So that, that would be another idea. Now also our database might need to be more complicated than this even. So let's say uh, you have user roles. Let's say you might have an admin, you might have a user, you might have a boss, you might have a salesperson. So you might have multiple different kinds of user roles. So here's another view of how you would store users. So we got the basic users, then I have a separate address table, and then over here we have a list of roles. So I might give the role name right here is like the word admin, and the description means can do everything. And then I give it an access level. So in this, this uh, access level is an integer. Now the reason why I would do that is because if I'm checking to see if a page is available to a user or not, I can just check their access level. If it's above a 5 or it's above a, a 3 or it's listed as 0 or some code that I put into my data dictionary to re remember what it's going to do, that code can be used as a lookup to see if the page should be viewed or not. So an access level is an integer. It gives me an idea of how I can do a quick check to see how high your pr privileges go. So those are three designs that you could do for your database and use uh, the MySQL Workbench to do so. So let's come back to our original document where the requirements are for Module 1 or Milestone 1. So design a login process and a registration. Now since we're doing logins and registrations, we just finished doing this uh, lesson here called Topic 2 login security. So the security service was used to uh, log in our app here and instead of using the uh, hard-coded uh, password and name here, uh, what would we put in there? So we are going to be expecting uh, SQL statements and so we're going to be using the database uh, find the username and password. So that would be an extension and a kind of a repeat of what we did in the first semester. So there's our first goal, our milestone number one. We should have ourselves uh, drawings, we should have ourselves uh, a diagram for our design on our database, and then finally a functioning uh, code that we can run on our local host website.